Hi folks, let me just introduce you to this portable screen I have just built. It is an internal battery, so it's portable. Features a high resolution screen, have camera mounts on the top and on the bottom side. It has an extendable leg to have a stable sit on the surface. I have included a battery meter. You might already imagine some good use of a gadget like this, but from my perspective, I wanted to have a camera monitor Hi folks. and felt the need for a screen where I can easily set up a test environment for recent hardware and also for legacy hardware. This particular screen I have for the project has a resolution of 1280 by 800 pixels and features HDMI, VGA, composite video input, a DC jack, but no audio. Note that in this video I'm talking about internal batteries, but in the real life it turns out that some HDMI video modes gains a power the battery management system cannot handle. I have spent hours and hours to find a good solution for that, but in the end I was stuck with the DC jack for situations like this. So let me just show you how I've built this. Before the build I have made a lot of measurements and designed the body. I have made the whole body from a single strip of large. I didn't want it to use plywood this time, because I wanted the nice wood grain to be displayed. So first I have cut the designated pieces for the backer board, and then all the other pieces according to the design. I have used a right angle jig when gluing the pieces together. This is going to be the front frame and the sides. I have placed the actual screen in the frame when gluing the last pieces. Of course the screen was well wrapped. I want it to be the unit to be worked from both an external adapter and from internal batteries. For this I needed to modify the DC plug so that it cuts the internal power when a plug was connected. For that I needed to remove the DC plug and cut the traces from the left connection at both sides of the PCB. The DC plug was then soldered back to its place. The charger circuit, the battery level indicator and the switch was mounted well into the backer board as they will be used actively. A cradle was formed to the batteries. I was started to experiment with some stand designs. This one I didn't like. So I was came out with this flip out stand. I already cut a piece of hardwood with a designated length and a bevel at one end. Now I place it on and drill holes for the fishing line. I was very careful with this step. Now holes for magnets are pre-drilled in both the frame and the stand piece. I have realized that the backer board is likely to curve, so I have attached extra pieces here and there. Sending everything smooth. Oh, I have nearly forgot to attach the tripod accepting nut. I have pre-drilled the hole, then grabbed a bigger drill bit for the indentation, then made the final cut for the threads. The threads for the insert was cut by the insert itself. I used a monopod to drive in the insert. And repeated the same process for the top mount nut.
Now comes the stain. I have used several coats of stain. After the stain was dry, I have glued the magnets with super glue. As you can see, as the stain was applied at one side at a time, the backer board was bent, but it is not so bad and the screws will bend it back to place. The fishing line was drove through the holes and the spring was formed from a wire on the other side. The battery, the charger, the indicator and the switch has its place already. The step-up converter needs to be attached. I didn't want it to go too crazy with this. It is attached with double-sided tape. If it comes loose, sometimes it will not cause any troubles anyway. The driver board is attached and all what's left was wiring. This is the final assembly. First comes the screen. It was fixed with two spigs and some minimal hot glue. Then comes the bottom panel. The bottom pins were 3D printed and the power button pin is printed from a transluent material and the power indicator LED was modified so it has an orientation of lighting towards the transluent pin. The loose wires were also hot glued. Now a piece of transluent wire was also about to be inserted above the charger indicator LED to direct the light outside the frame. Finally, the case can be closed. That's all for now. I hope you liked it. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.